folks. Here's a super quick one for you today. Let's have a look at how to put together this animation using the layer masks. I've got two layers of artwork and they're both pretty simple. If I just go into edit them, you'll see I've got one layer that has text on it and the other is a solid fill background. Simple as that. The other one is exactly the same, just in a different color. And the other thing I did just to make this slightly more interesting is I've made sure that the text lines up and I've used a heavier font. Um, so when that gets revealed, it'll just look a little bit more interesting. These layers, they don't even need to be just artwork. It could actually be two different groups with animated elements inside them, but I've just kept it nice and simple for bite of a quick tutorial. The other layer that we have is the circle mask. And again, this can be any shape that you want. And we've just kept it simple with this. So the way it works, if I just exit drawing mode and I'll just grab this and move it over. Now, if I long press on this, choose mask, layer mask. Now, instead of this being a visible piece of artwork, it's now using wherever there were pixels to choose what to show underneath it. So if I grab this layer mask and move it around, you'll see it reveals more of this yellow and pink layer. Let's animate it. I'll start it off to the side. I'll tap to action move to add a move and scale keyframe. Shorten my timeline a little bit. So we'll move that so it comes across. I'll move forward a little bit, move it somewhere else. I'll even scale it up a little bit. Move forward another half second or so. Just changing the position and scale of it. And then let's have it finish by revealing the whole thing. Now, if we play this back, And that's it, it's as simple as that. So that's the basic principle of it. You can make that as complicated or as simple as you want. Uh, but here's a, like a quick example of something that you could do with very little effort. I'm going to tap on my timeline edit so I can select both of these tracks. Now I'm gonna group them by land press, press group. I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to drag this onto an empty track put delay to start to exit timeline edit. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap on this one, choose my actions, and this time I'll pick filter, HSB. Now I can change the color of this to something else. We'll try that. So now we don't have to redo any of the animation and it will just follow along. Uh, so yeah, so you could layer this up and you know, do multiple different variations of it, or you could use a different shape or different colors, or, you know, the possibilities are endless. Anyway, hope that helped. Thanks for watching, folks. We're going to be adding lots more Dreams content over the next while, both quickie tutorials as well as some longer deep dive videos, so consider subscribing. We also recently launched our comprehensive Procreate Dreams course, which covers absolutely everything you can do with Dreams, so check out the link in the description if you're interested. Thanks.